Hello everyone. As I said, I thought it would be a great opportunity. Got the role of uh, 100 meter 6P6C uh, phone cable, which is what we need to make our uh, loco net cables with. Got a new role of that, but what a great opportunity. I'm going to show you how I make loco net cables. So uh, we've got, got the cable, we've got our tester here, we've got our uh, crimper, and we've got some RJ12 plugs. So let's get started. Okay, so I've cut first off a length of the telephone cable, which is the six core cable. And um, I've just gotten with a short piece just for the sake of this demonstration, but it will be used somewhere, I'm sure. Cut off the uh, piece to length. I've put a plug on that end already. So what we'll do is we'll strip the jacket off of the uh, off of this end. So to do that, the crimper has a stripper assembly all in one. So we have a cutter and a stripper all, all in the same unit here. So we've got a stripping function, we've got a cutting function. So what we'll do is we'll stick this in like so into the stripper and you can see on the back there and now push it in until it hits this uh, alignment piece there that means I've put it in as far as I need to squeeze down on it and then pull the cord like so and there you can see we've exposed our colored six colored wires there now so then what I do is take a little piece of of that off just to make it a little bit shorter just by cutting through there okay and then the rule of thumb with this is to put the white on the right and then place that with the tab at the top so we place that in firmly we can see that the uh, the blue has gone all the way inside the plastic there so when we crimp it down it'll be a nice strong fit onto the uh, outer sheet not onto the individual uh, wires so we pick up our crimp, we've got a uh, insert inside the crimp there for this RJ12, RJ11, RJ12. Put that in there, squeeze it tight, release, give it a quick pull, there we go. Tight on both ends. Now, time to do the testing. Okay, so first up, there are other options for testing your cables and uh, one of them are the LT1. This is the uh, tester that comes with your Digitrex supplied uh, station, uh, like a DCS100 or a Zephyr, you know, DCS51, um, DB150s, etc. So um, the only issue with these, and I'll, I'll show you this, is that it doesn't tell you whether you've got a fault in one particular end of the cable or not. It just means you've got a fault in the cable, difficult to find. The tester I prefer to use is this one. Um, that LT1 cost around about $10 online. This tester here cost around about $15. It's a two-part uh, tester. That means you plug one end into the, the RJ12 port there, the other end into the RJ12 port on the other end, and the LEDs light up at each end, t telling you that you've got a, uh, a fault or that your cable's good at both ends of the plug. I recommend these for $15, you can't go wrong. Okay, so we've got our tester here. I like to separate separate it into two, one for each end. If we turn it up this way, we can see the RJ45 port and the RJ12 port. Um, so what I do is take one end of my wire, connect that into the end of it, like so. Take the other end, take the other uh, tester, Place that in like so, up the right way. Hold those two so we can see them, and then power up on the master over here. Now, what you can see is one end of the cable here coming down, showing the steps through the six wires of each core, testing that it's fine. Similarly, on the other side, we can see that six. LEDs illuminate and it goes over and over so that you know 
good thing of this, if you have a very long loco net cable, you can plug one in on one end, one end in the other, walk from one end of the layout, testing, making sure that the, uh, that the cables sound. Don't need a second person, which is great. Anyhow, that is the end of uh, how I make my loco net cables. Just to celebrate the fact that I've got some nice blue loco net cable that will make it stand out from all the other cables and wires on the layout. And um, any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Thank you.